So I decided to make a recording about uh, how to make your own podcast because I get a lot of questions about my podcast and the equipment that I use and how I set it up, et cetera, et cetera. And at the risk of like exposing myself, but just being like super basic, I don't use equipment really besides my laptop for my podcast. I just know which tools to use in um, SoundCloud. I know which image tools to use to make the little like cool little uh, thumbnails. I know how to use a tool to edit the audio file. And that's basically it. Um, so now you're thinking you're like, well, if you, if you know, if you make a podcast, shouldn't you, you know, get a microphone and headphones, etc. Um, I'm going to tell you the most important thing about, about doing a podcast is having the dedication to actually record the podcasts. And if you go out and you buy all this equipment, you buy a new microphone, you get all excited and then you get distracted and the microphone sits in a closet for six months or like, you know, you get a great, I don't know, you you get great headphones or something and they, you, you just use them for music and, you know, all this time goes by and you realize that you never actually really started to record podcasts. It, it's because you didn't have a plan and you just jumped into buying all the cool stuff for it. Um, and it happens. We've all, we've all done that. We've sent, you know, you sign up for a gym membership when you could just run down the street. Um, so I find that it's easier to start with like, like just the bare minimum and see if I can do it and see if I've got the, the motivation to do it before I jump in and buy all this shit. Um, or, you know, excuse my language, um, stuff. Um, so I wanted to do a quick video on how to set up podcasts really easily and how you can just use your computer to start recording tracks. Um, so let me start here. This is my SoundCloud page. Um, and I know you're thinking like, hey, no one uses SoundCloud anymore. Um, I'll explain. Basically, SoundCloud is just a vehicle. It's going to give you what you need to share your podcast on, you know, iTunes. Um, you know, you can embed your podcast into like a blog post, but I'll, I'll get there in a second. First, let's just talk about SoundCloud. Um, this is my profile and you will have to create uh, a new one. Um, so I'm, you know, I'll, I'll just go to um, my profile and show you guys. You'll have to think of a name, like a cool, what's going on here? Oh, I gotta, I gotta click on this. I'm already showing my expertise. Um, so first, you got to think of like a name for your podcast. Mine was easy. I just did it about my blog, Drifty Land. Um, but I would recommend if you're thinking of ideas for podcast names, I would check and make sure it's not already a, a domain. Because if it goes really well and you're like, dude, I want to make a website with this name. I want to make a blog with this name. You're going to be heartbroken if you go to buy the domain, which means like the .com, and someone already took your name. Um, so that actually might be a better step first is to figure out the name. Be like, yes, I like this name, and and just buy the domain for it. It's like ten bucks. You don't have to do anything with it right now. It's just you know, like squatters' rights. You were there first. You got the name. Um, this if I had done the Drifty Land like podcast first before I did my blog, I would have been really upset if I went to buy the domain and Drifty Land was gone, and I would have to do like driftyland.co or driftyland.info or something stupid, I don't know. Anyway, so you'll do that, you'll fill all of this information in, and you do wanna spend some time filling in your bio um, just to tell people what the, what it's about. Um, and it also helps when people are looking through SoundCloud to find you um, and to find like, the topics that they like to hear about and whatnot. So you do wanna spend some time there, and then you can add links in here too um, to all your all the things you wanna to link to. Um, so as you can see, I've recorded quite a lot of podcasts on here and I didn't use any any microphones I didn't use anything I just used my laptop not to like not to like go over this again but I want to show you exactly how I record audio recording so um, if you have a Mac and even if you don't you should have something that's similar to this application uh, QuickTime you know, QuickTime is that annoying thing that pops up and tells you it needs to be updated, but you're like, I never actually use QuickTime, so I'm not going to update it. Well, this is what I use, QuickTime. Um, I go to File, New Audio Recording, and basically I can just hit Record and, and start my podcast, and, it's, and, it's, and it goes. Um, I am recording from my laptop, so you want to find, like, a quiet room to record in. Um, during the course of this video, you'll see why I usually need to go somewhere else to record because I've got noisy neighbors, I've got a dog next door that won't stop barking. If he makes it through this video without without barking, it'll be a miracle. Um, 
So I, you know, I'll go to a co-working space or I'll go to a friend's house or, you know, as long as it's somewhere that you know that you can get through like an hour without like someone ringing the doorbell or knocking the door or your phone ringing. Um, actually, now that I think of that, I'm going to turn my phone off. So you want to look at, you want to have the foresight to, to avoid all of those, all of those types of things. And then honestly, you can just sit in front of your laptop and you can record, you can record from there. Um, so that's the first thing I would recommend doing. And then later you can always get a microphone. If you fall in love with podcasting and you want to take it really seriously, you can do that. So I'm going to exit out of this because I actually already recorded a podcast for you guys. It's really cool. So after you're done watching this video, you can go check out the little podcast that I recorded. It's a jingle. It's only six seconds long too. So next up is I've got this like audio recording and let's say that I want to like record an intro, which is like, Welcome to the Drifty Land Podcast. Or I want to like record an outro, which is like, yo, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and FaceBase and blah, blah. You know, you can have those things already recorded and saved on your computer. So you can just add them to this file and you don't have to re-record it every single time. I'll explain. So y'all probably also have iMovie, I would assume. Um, if you don't have iMovie, you probably have a very like similar... Um, type of application. Um, for me, it's iMovie. If you use a PC, it'll be something else. So let's click on this. And here's iMovie. Um, so I'm going to go to create new movie. And you're like, Melissa, I'm not making a movie. I'm making a podcast. I know. I understand. So I'm going to go back and find that podcasting file. And I'm going to drop it right in here. And this is just the audio file. So right now, this is unless and again if you have those like that intro or that outro like save on your desktop you can do the same thing drag the audio files to where they fit like bookends and then you you basically got your track like go ahead and re-listen to it and make sure that you know you didn't drop the f-bomb or like you know there wasn't a ton of static in the background etc if you do record and you're like man the sound just isn't great you've got a few options first you just re-record it um identify what the problem is like if, if it's just like staticky because you're in a weird room or space then like you might have to find a new space to record um but if it's like the the sound quality isn't great and you want to be better you could potentially send it to somebody on upwork um to fix which would, would cost you money but it might be worth it um i would just probably re-record honestly um otherwise like you're just gonna you're just gonna spend a lot of time trying to fix something that maybe can't be fixed anyway um so you could do that and then you could just save this file and start to make it into a podcast. But before you do that, I would ask you to consider adding an image to this as well. And what I mean by that is uploading an image to put here. Um, so I'm gonna show you this image that I, and it doesn't match like what we're talking about. I made this image beforehand and you want to go to the crop and get rid of this stupid Ken Burns thing and hit fit. Um, so basically when you save the file, it'll save the image and it'll save the audio file. And then you want to stretch this out too to match the length of the audio file. Um, and basically that gives you a file to upload on YouTube or on Facebook as a video file. So, you know, it won't be an actual video, but it will be like the picture and the audio recording. And then you can take it. You can take the same podcast that you're going to upload on SoundCloud and share it in a few different places. So basically you just get more, you just, you cover more ground, you get more traction. You can like experiment with like YouTube at the same time that, as experimenting with uh, SoundCloud. And a lot of podcasters upload their stuff on YouTube too. So it's definitely worth considering. Um, if you decide, yes, I want to do that. You're going to upload an image that you want to use. And I'll show you what, how to do that in a second. Um, you're going to take this, you're going to go, and then you're going to hit share, file, um, and then you'll be like, super cool podcast. And you're going to hit video and audio, and then it will export it as a .mov file. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do the audio file. So let's get rid of this. I just made a farting noise in my mouth. I'm like literally three years old. Um, share, file. Do it again. Super cool podcast. And then you're going to hit video, uh, no, you're going to hit audio. Um, and then the file format will be an MP3. So I'm going to hit next, save it. 
you'll watch this that little circle. When it's done, this will pop up. Um, usually it takes a lot longer than that, but since this is only six seconds long, it was like immediate. So there's my super cool podcast. And now I want to upload it to SoundCloud. But, but I promised to show you guys something with images, right? You see all these cool images that I have uploaded. Um, I made those and I'm not a graphic designer or anything. Um, I actually use a free tool called Canva, which some of you may have heard of. Um, Canva's free to use. You can log in using your Facebook profile. And as you can see, I've got like so many images that if you follow me, you've seen me use in blog posts and podcasts and videos, etc. And it's basically just an image with text over it. And you can get these images for free from Canva. If you go to Elements, you can go in here, free images, and like look through a ton of free images. You can search for a free image. Um, and then you can drop it, drop it in here. So like maybe I like I want to recall this super cool, make that a little bit smaller, super cool podcast. And then I can even like adjust the spacing between the lines and stuff. So it's definitely a tool to use if you're just not a graphic designer, but you still need really like good graphics for whatever you're using. Um, I would recommend checking it out. I'll go here and download my file. And if you're like, well, I just did the audio recording or I, you know, I don't want to start making like YouTube videos or stuff out of this, you still need this. So I would still make an image for it and I'll show you what you need it for. Um, when you go to SoundCloud, you're going to upload your file. Go to desktop and find my super cool podcast. And that's going to upload the super cool podcast. Um, I'm going to pick a genre. I always do uh, storytelling because, I mean, unless you unless you are specifically talking about like politics, learning, entertainment, comedy, if it's just like an overcompassing kind of thing, then you're going to get out of this. Um, and then you're going to add tags. Don't add like 20 tags. This basically helps SoundCloud organize what this audio file is about. If you add like 20 tags, it's going to be like, it's about all these 20 things. And it's not. It's, it's just about a couple things. So I wouldn't exceed like six or seven tags. So I'm going to do podcast, podcast guide, podcast for beginners. Cool. Um, and then I'll add the video here. Oops. Cool. Um, so, like I said, image. You still need an image. Um, because honestly, if I'm in SoundCloud and I see a file and there's not an image that's uploaded with it, I don't know. I just, I, I'm just, I think it looks nicer. See, I've got my super cool podcast. Looks so nice and neat. So then I'm going to hit save. There it is. Super cool podcast. Go to my track. And it comes up on the Drifty Land podcast. And I'll go back to home. And you can see that it is the latest track. I can do things, I can share things, I can favorite it, I can add it to a playlist, all sorts of stuff. Um, you can share it right from here. So earlier I said like there's a lot that you can do with SoundCloud, but you know, it's not like Facebook or Twitter where people are using it all the time to find stuff. It's more of like a vehicle. So um, you can use the link and just share it to any of these things, or you can embed it into a blog post if you have a blog. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, I recorded a, an audio file for this one, 24 hours in Phoenix. Um, I actually didn't embed the audio file. I just, I put an image in, um, and wrote like a little, like a little kind of thing in there. Um, at the risk of getting too detailed about how to do this, I will do it anyway. Let's say that I'm like, all right, I want to actually embed the file on here. I can go back, take this code right here, and then when I'm in my blog post, I could go delete this section, and then basically I'm just going to go to, whoa, 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 I'm going to go to my HTML, which is the fancy code, don't be intimidated, it's easier to understand when you get in there. And go back and did it work? Yeah, so it's embedded in there now. And you can see like the image. I'm gonna center it too. Center. 
Podcasting is great. I made a podcast today. It spoiled it. That was my podcast that I made for you guys. Anyway, um, but now it's in, it's on the page, right? So I can go back and let's say like, I want to preview changes. Oh, go down. And yeah, it's embedded into here and it, it'll stretch out. So like you can check the dimensions and, and actually pick an image that isn't going to do that. But um, yeah, people can come down here and like listen to the podcast on your post. So I can exit out of that and not save those changes to this post. So it's pretty easy to embed those files onto blog posts once you have a blog. Or if you're not ready for that, you can just share it on Facebook or whatever, whatever you choose. Um, the next thing is, um, I'm sure all of you listen to podcasts on iTunes. It's one of the most popular ways to find podcasts. Um, you can set up an RSS feed and it'll connect basically anything you upload to SoundCloud to iTunes. So you can find the Drifty Land podcast on iTunes, but I'm not actually uploading anything to iTunes, if that makes sense. I upload everything here and SoundCloud sends it to iTunes. People can go there and download it and do whatever it is. Um, they do when they find my podcast, but so I would write a post about this, but SoundCloud already has a really great one. Um, basically it, talk, it talks about setting up the RSS feed. It walks through everything that I just told you guys to do. And then you, it talks about like uploading a couple, a couple of tracks and then submitting it to the iTunes directory. And that will basically tell you, I can, I can add this link to whatever file I make for this. And like, you guys can do it yourself, but so it's really easy to get started with the podcast. Basically, all you need is some time, some patience. You need to be able to be willing to learn how to use stuff, but it's pretty easy and you can do it without equipment. Later, you can you can buy any and every single bit of equipment that you need. But uh, that's all for now. If you have any questions, you can at me on uh, Twitter. It's at 50 Land Missy, you can get Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, I'm all over the place. Thanks guys. Podcasting is great. I made a podcast today.